last week I went to uh, I love Mexican food while I live in Pasco you gotta love Mexican food if you live in Pasco amen and also it's very affordable and so I went to this Mexican restaurant and I don't I like taco trucks but they don't accept visa and so uh, they don't accept visa I know for what reasons but but they don't accept visas and so and I need something to use it with the plastic and so I would go to a, a restaurant here in Core Street it's a very small tiny restaurant and so when you go in there the moment they sit you down before they even ask you for your order and before they bring you drinks and before you you have a chance to order your food they bring you this chips and sauce how many loves chips and sauce thank God for chills and sauce amen some of you you were not worshiping God for anything but it's chips and salsa you're like thank you Jesus if they would have added chips and salsa to the worship I would have had my hands raised up but one thing you have to understand about chips and salsa is that chips were not brought there for my meal they were brought there to prepare me for the meal they were brought there actually to stir my appetite you know and they were free we all know nothing is really free so they were actually included later on in some kind of a pricing but they were brought there to stir up my appetite for the meal and it would be foolish to come and eat cheese and uh, chips and salsa and just walk out of a restaurant and be mad and say you know what I thought I came to a Mexican restaurant I thought I'm gonna eat some chicken torta I thought I'm gonna have some enchiladas I thought I'm gonna have some chicken quesadillas and here I have only ch just ch chips and salsa See every person in the right mind understands chips and salsa were preparation for the meal. They're not supposed to be the replacing of the meal. See your parents, your friends, your family, even the church environment, your society is the chips and salsa. Sometimes they could be a little bit tasty, sometimes they could be a little bit salty, sometimes they could be sweet but they're not the replacement for the love of God. God's love is the chicken torta. God's love is the enchilada. God's love is that chicken quesadilla. Somebody say thank you Jesus. And see what most of us do is that when we have uh, chips and when we maybe come in a broken family maybe we come and we listen honey all of our family is broken we just all look good on Facebook and Instagram but you dig deeper you'll find us now we all got issues we all got problems and nobody's parents are perfect but we have to understand that our family is not the main meal God's love is the main meal the family is there to stir your appetite for the real Heavenly Father who is perfect who is always present always caring and his love is unconditional somebody say yes God will never allow your family to love you so much to make his love unnecessary God will never allow your friends love you so much to make his love unneeded. God will never let your husband, your wife, boyfriend, fiance love you so much to make him unnecessary. And many times when we feel that ache, when we feel that hunger, when we feel like it's not enough, what we do is we squeeze. We squeeze it out of our fiance. We squeeze it out of our husband. We try to squeeze it out of our parents. We give them books secretly. We send them on podcasts so they could be better parents. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is good. We all need to improve on loving one another better. But listen, as much as you can eat, you can eat chips until it comes out of your mouth. It's not supposed to be the replacement. God's love is the foundation.